Hey everyone, thank you for joining us for yet another bite-sized talk. Um, I'd like to begin by thanking uh, the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative for funding all NEFCO events. So some little reminders as always, the bite size will be recorded and be uploaded on our YouTube channel as well as shared on Slack. So uh, feel free to find it later on those platforms and feel free to also ask questions um, at the end of the bite size talk using our chat platform on Zoom or um, unmuting and posing questions. The talk will be roughly around 15 minutes followed by a live demo. So um, feel free to ask questions after or during the presentation talk. Uh, today, the, we'll be having uh, James Fellows Yates, who is a bioinformatician at the Max Planck Institute in Leipzig, uh, who will be taking us through GatherTown, which is a video calling space that allows you to hold multiple conversations in parallel. And this is in line with the hackathon that we're going to have this week. So over to you, James. Thanks very much. So yeah, I will be talking today about GatherTown, which is uh, what we're going to be using, using for the hackathon, which starts tomorrow. So you can check all the information details on the NFCore website, uh, NFCore events. And I'll be introducing today um, the, the platform we'll be using, uh, giving you a quick run through of how you can uh, get set up and then how to use it uh, most effectively and particularly for our event. So as Simeon just said, GatherTown is basically a piece of web conferencing software, a bit like Zoom, but with a twist, um, because it allows you to actually be in a space with a little avatar, walk around, interact with people in a much more natural uh, sort of way, much more like in, in real life, rather than just staring at sort of everyone's faces. Um, and we found in the past that that has worked uh, really, really nicely for actually uh, making sort of these online uh, conferences much more fun. And so this is a screenshot of exactly what it, it looks like. You can see in the bottom right hand corner, there's my, my video screen, um, uh, just as you was on Zoom, but also there's a second version of me, a mini me, at the top here. Um, and this is how we will be uh, basically the space which we will be exploring uh, in a bit in the live demo part. So to join the NF Core Gather Town, um, we've for sort of security reasons, we've um, put a password protection on there. So if you want to join, firstly, go to the NFCore Slack. So you can join this by the NFCore link on the slide. Then you have to go to the, the GatherTown channel and then just say hi. And then someone will basically um, press a little button, which will allow you to get receive uh, privately a, um, a link to the workspace and also the password to, to access it, such as this. And so something very important to say is that if you use the space, because you can also use the space outside of, of the hackathon, so um, you can use it for any NF core related meetings or next meetings you may have, um, that's completely okay. But if you're going to use a space for yourself and any other guests you may bring along with you, make sure that they adhere to the code of conduct, um, which uh, you can also access on the website or on the link that you get in the message from the GatherTown uh, workflow. So, once you've got the password and the link, you can go to the link. And um, this is the first thing you'll see if it's the first time you've joined. Um, so you'd enter the password as it asks, and then you can create all your little avatar. So you can basically pick different clothes, different accessories, different colors, so on, so on. Very much like Pokemon or Zelda or something like that uh, games nowadays. Then you can make your name. We ask generally, please put your full name here, not your shortened name or nickname, because it makes it harder for when we've got 60 to 100 people in the same uh, workspace to find them. So if you put your full name, that'd be really helpful. Then uh, you'll get to uh, this page, which basically you have to give permission to your browser if you've not used this before to actually allow other gather time to access your microphone and camera. Um, so normally, if it, for example, on Chrome, you should get like a button like this, and you should press allow and should be quite straightforward. And then you can test here um, and it will tell you if you can see. So you should be able to see yourself. And when you're talking, you should see this green bar here going up and down. Um, in some cases, we have some experiences that for OSX users that you have to grab additional uh, browser permissions, but you have to go into the OSX system settings for that under the privacy um, section um, to allow that. But often people recommend try using the desktop app instead. That often runs much better and much smoother. Um, so that is available. Go to the GatherTown website to get that. 
So once you've completed uh, giving permissions to everything, you'll be then now be sent to a onboarding platform if it's the first time you use GatherTown before. And basically they give you a little tutorial on how to how everything works. So just follow the instructions or skip if you think you're you remember your Pokemon uh, days. And then once you've completed the tutorial, you should then arrive in the NF Core office space, which should look something like this. And so now I'm going to give a, a, a live demo, and hopefully it won't crash as often these things do, uh, of what this looks like and how to use everything. So of course, Zoom is high covering the button. Oh. Here we go. So I'll turn off my video here in Slack. Then on Slack in, in Zoom. There you go. So sorry if I'm not looking at the camera here, but it's on my other window. Um, so this is the NF Core office, as you can see by the nice um, logo at the top. And you can walk around using your arrow keys. So you should also be able to see this with the, uh, the arrows on my, on my screen. And this is how you can basically move around. And when you arrive, this general space is the NF Core office. However, we have a bigger space for, uh, there's Maxime at the top, a bigger space for the hackathon. So to go there, you can go into this door to the right. We'll have an arrow to indicate that next time. And this is the main NF Core lobby. So if you ever have any questions about the event or anything like that, you can go up the information board here. And for any interactive uh, object in Gather Town, you can press X to load this. So in this case, this should open the NF Core Hackathon web page. And you can see basically all the information there. And so now we'll show you sort of why you have this nice interaction thing, uh, why it's probably more natural. So with Maxime, as you can see at the moment, you can't see Maxime's video, you can't hear him or anything because we're too far away. But as we are close to each other, you should start seeing him to start appearing. Hello. And you can see him. Yeah, can and if he keeps talking and saying something, yes, I can keep talking, and I walk away, you can't hear him now. So if he keeps talking as I come closer again. No, no. Yes, I was just seeing that Sarek is the best background in the map as we don't want to hear that. So this makes it a very nice way to actually um, have conversations, move between groups, um, join uh, conversations as, as necessary. This is really nice. Then for the hackathon, you can see we have different rooms. We have the classroom on the left, group room one and lecture hall. So I'll go into one of these as an example. And you can see here that we have our first classroom. So this will be for people who are completely new to Nextflow and completely new to NF Core. And it's a space to do self-learning together, follow tutorials that exist um, already, either by Secura or NF Core. And um, you can go step by step together and sort of do this group learning exercise there. Another nice thing is that most in most rooms we have these whiteboards, which if you go up to and press X, it should load something like this. And this is a, a cross-collaborative whiteboarding software which Graviton offers. So you can sort of um, write things here, but you can also uh, collaborative write things, but also draw pictures and images, uh, draw diagrams if you need to help each other sort of work out what's going on. And these should save and be persistent between uh, usage. There you go, so you can see on the left, uh, we've got a graffiti artist going on there. So we'll leave that. So, then that's for the classroom is specifically for people who are completely new and want to just get started with Nextflow or NF Core. But for the main uh, topic of the um, hackathon, we have the, we will have four different groups, and each different group will be assigned to one of these rooms. So if we go in here, you can see it's basically the same thing. It's a bigger space, so we can have more people, but you still have the whiteboards as normal. Now, the nice thing about the tables is if we go into the tables, what you should basically find is that anyone sitting around the table can hear each other, but when you're sitting, moving away, well, that's not working here, I need, to, I need to check that, but basically everyone sitting around the table will be isolated with themselves. So people standing away from the table will not be able to hear the conversations in board. So that means you can also have everybody still in the workspace working on their own things, but you can have teams and stuff who are not interfering with each other, which is a really nice um, feature. So I can maybe show that in the back in the lobby if Maxim comes with me. Or, okay, but this should work. I'm not sure why it's working here, but theoretically yes, that'll work. I think, we, I think we just forgot to put some private spaces in the room. I'll exactly. do that later. Yeah, good. So then in addition to the uh, classrooms or group rooms, our main room 
for all the check-ins, check-outs, talks, presentations, is here is the lecture theater. So you can see at the top here, there's Matthias already there uh, giving us a, a dance recital, very, very kind of him, um, and Maxime as well. And so the important thing about here is that anyone standing on those orange dots by the pedestals basically are projecting to the whole room. So you can see that Matthias, for example, has this little orange icon and Maxime as well, um, saying that he everybody in that room can hear him. So this overrides this proximity uh, communication bit. But also on the right hand side, we have the second, and so the, sorry, the one on the main um, uh, platform is for the speakers. Then if you ever have any questions, you can go and line up over here, exactly. Nice cue. And then whoever's standing on this orange bit will basically uh, be also projected to the room. So if you have any questions during the talks, you can come up here to ask your questions. Now, the final room we can go into is then where we can have all the social activities. And this is here in the MF Core Cafe. Ah, so here's a good example of the private space. So around all the tables, so we'll set, make sure this is everywhere. Anyone not in this square, of the, so the green square there, cannot hear us. But if Maxine then comes in, now he comes in. So he can now join the conversation. And so you can have these private little conversations as you, as you want. So other things about the uh, user interface, there is also text chat if necessary. You can see this here. If you ever need to refer to the code of conduct, that's at the top. At the top here. You can change between different ways of chatting with people, either private chat to everybody in the entire space, like the entire world, and also um, any, any people in the, your sort of close proximity. Um, another thing you can do is let's say you are lost. There is a little mini map down here which can tell you where you are and it will point out where anybody else is. So, particularly in bigger spaces, if you can't find someone, you can look here. You can also search for people or follow people if necessary. So let's say, you know, I want to meet Matthias, I can press follow here. And automatically my little avatar will go and walk towards him in the most fast route possible. And then we can run. And also I can keep following him uh, if he wants to lead me somewhere. So if you're a bit too nervous and get stuck or lost, you can just follow people and that speeds things up as well. Um, if at any point you get stuck, you can also, let's say I come here, I can't walk through Matthias, but if I need to walk through Matthias because it's too big of a crowd, if I hold down G, I can then walk through the person, I turn into a ghost, so G for ghost, and you can get through them. So if you ever get stuck, that normally will help you with this. If you ever need to um, screen share, to share your screen, you can also press this button down here. And this is a typical um, uh, Chrome method of uh, sharing screen as, as you may, should be familiar with. This would be slightly different depending on which browser you're using, but generally it's, it's pretty similar. Um, otherwise, I guess the last thing is if you want to learn how to dance, if you hold down Z, then you can dance. And with that, uh, if you ever want to exit at Gather Town, all you simply have to do is close the tab and you're finished. Then if you basically load the link again, what you should find, it should load you back in the same place. You may have to log in if you don't save your cookies um, as normal. So if I take a moment, there we go. And we're back in the same place with the skin. So just as a reminder, if you have any problems or you need access or, or about the, or rather about the, um, about the event, go to the NFCO website, go to events, Hacker than March 22, and all of the information should be in here. So otherwise, that's me done. Are there any questions? Looks like there are no questions yet. Okay, okay. Yeah, normally the best way is to try it out yourself. And just shout on on Slack if you have any problems. Yeah, I think everyone's saying it was pretty much clear. So good, perfect. Then. Yeah, I guess. Um, that being said, um, looking forward to see everyone uh, during the hackathon starting tomorrow. 
And also, as James has said, if you have any problem um, with Gather Town, feel free to shout it out on Slack and um, someone will respond to you definitely. Okay, see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.